Bernard, always. Wow. We're gonna do a little hike. We haven't hiked on the west side since you moved here, so I we're gonna. Like we haven't hiked in like. Um, we've been just. Um, what is this? I'm chilling. Mm -hmm. House made. House made. Made by me. <laughs> <laughs> Almond milk. It's a coconut milk that you all have me on. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. Isn't it good? It's so good. Since I'm really focusing on improving my gut health at the moment, I've been making myself chia seed pudding versus having my regular avocado toast. Nothing is wrong with my avocado toast. I still love it. I still have it all the time. But uh, chia seeds are so good for your gut health. And it's been kind of more convenient, to be honest, because I just made this the night before. I did three tablespoons of chia seeds. I added cacao nibs. I added um, purely Elizabeth granola. Um, oat milk, this organic oat milk from, I don't remember, it's from Erewhon, I don't remember the brand. Um, and, oh, almond butter. I did one tablespoon of almond butter. So I'm going to have this for breakfast right now. I threw it in the fridge overnight. It's such an easy breakfast, you guys. It's great. Oh, I also added hemp seeds for a little bit of protein. Mm. That's so good. I totally forgot to add that there's also one packet of um, instant oatmeal in here. It's the one from Trader Joe's. It has like amaranth and a bunch of other stuff, but it's so good. The most common question that I get, I think on this channel, um, is in regards to how I fixed my gut health, how I got my period back, and in relation to supplements. I feel like you guys love to know what supplements I'm taking, and I have told you very recently actually that I was becoming very very picky with what I'm putting into my body because there was a point in my life where I was taking so much stuff and I realized I just want to be more selective and I feel like over the last year I've become more selective and I'm so excited you guys I am so excited to bring you this supplement brand that I'm working with on today's video. I'm working with Fix Biome. This company has so many green flags. The number one thing is that it's actually developed by doctors and they use natural and clinically studied ingredients. I have done so much research on this company. This is not a cheap supplement brand. This is not a cheap supplement overall. However, these supplements are specifically made for things like Candida, SIBO, and IBS. Trying to get to the root cause of fixing and helping you fix your symptoms, which is something that I just find so incredible. I've been testing them out for the last eight weeks and I have seen the biggest improvement in all of the things in my gut health. I think I told you guys recently that I was struggling a little bit. I've been going through a personal time and I feel like my gut health is very sensitive to that. I have three things to share with you. So we have the Gut Fix Repair, and this is a science-based amino acid restorative proprietary blend. Two tablets in the morning and two tablets in the evening. Now, you want to be doing this for at least eight weeks. I'm, uh, you're not going to take these pills and automatically feel better. I mean, you might have some relief from some of the symptoms that you're experiencing, but if you want to see like an actual uh, you know, change in your gut health, you want to be consistent with it and you want to be taking them for eight weeks at least. And then we have these two, which are Fix It 1 and Fix It 2. This is Motility and this is Control. These two are made for IBS, SIBO, and Candida. This is so TMI, but like my bathroom schedule has become so much more regular when I'm regular with my supplements. Um, I can eat gluten, I can eat dairy. I mean, you guys know I've been experimenting with having dairy, and the reason I've been experimenting with that is because I started taking supplements, and I'm like, wait, I think, I think that it's 
get actually getting to the root cause of my problem. They have really taken the naturopathic approach that I love to take when it comes to this sort of thing, but also, you know, ingredients that are very well studied. And actually on their website, there's um, a huge part where you can click on it. I'll have like a little video for you here. And you can see all the research done on all of the ingredients that they use in these supplements. If in the new year, you're really, you know, wanting to take your gut health seriously, um, and you're gonna spend money on it and really dedicate yourself for at least eight weeks and then see how you feel afterwards. I'll have a link in the description bar for you guys to use to the three that I talked about. There's different kind of bundles on their websites. Um, see what fits best with your symptoms and what you're experiencing, of course, but um, these have been my personal favorites. First link in bio and thank you so much to Fix Biome for working with me on today's video. Alright, it is lunchtime and you guys know I am obsessed with making random bowls. I love taking vegetables, pan frying them, and then combining them with whatever else I have in the fridge. That's like my favorite lunch idea because I feel like lunch is always so hard. The random, or the more random, the better. I have in the fridge one eggplant, a delicata squash, which is probably my favorite fall like vegetable. Um, I have some organic garbanzo beans some avocado, some sprouted um, organic broccoli sprouts, and um, capers. And I'm gonna cook all that together. Aside from the broccoli sprouts and the avocado, I'm going to pan fry the squash and the eggplant. Um, and then I'm gonna add the garbanzo beans at the end and just make myself a nice little bowl for lunch. Obviously making a very large portion of this, but I like to meal prep my lunches. All right, here's my lunch bowl, and then we have a lot of leftovers. Honestly, I think this will last me for another two meals, but that is the great part about batch cooking. You can make lunches for days ahead. We have the squash, the garbanzo beans, full avocado, broccoli sprouts, and then I seasoned the crap out of it. And then, oh, I also added capers as well. So it's currently 5.30 and I'm having my dinner. I actually meal prepped this two days ago. This is white fish that I lightly breaded with um, gluten-free flour and eggs. And then I meal prepped some rice and um, some sauerkraut that my grandparents actually made themselves. It's so nice to have some meal prep food, but I just wanted to say that sauerkraut is so good for your gut health. We all know this. That's why I'm adding it to my dinner. And another thing that's really been helping me um, heal my gut is having my dinner earlier in the night and letting myself have some time to digest before going to bed. I feel like it's improved my sleep and digestion. If I had a very tiny meal, then I'd be going to bed hungry and I don't like that either. So a nice salad meal, a little bit of dessert. I'll be having this chocolate and I'm also going to have some tea and that'll be it for this full day of eating.